Today we're going to start Module 10, Lesson 4, which is a mean lesson about mean. Yes, mean, M-E-A-N, but we're not being mean, we are learning about mean. And mean is a fancy mathematical word for average. So the average that you get at the end of a school year, that is the mean of your grades for the school year, or the average. Now, we're going to look at a couple of different ways of solving for mean. And the very first thing we're going to do is understanding that the mean is essentially a fair share. Okay, or the average of, of set of things. So what we have in this problem, they've started us out with is five students brought some flour to end up going to a um, cooking club that they're in. One student brought three cups, one student brought four cups, one five, another three, and then another one brought five cups. And they divided it evenly so that each student got the same amount for cooking. And it says to use the counters to find how many cups each student got. So what are we going to do? We are going to use this page. It gives us some online Unifix clue cubes that we can stack, which I've already got these stacked and ready to go. And we can use these to figure out what a fair share looks like or what a mean or average of the data value looks like. Now, I'm not a big fan of this being called a fair share because it's not really fair that the kid who brought five cups of flour is having to give his cups of flour to the kids who only brought three cups of flour, but hey, so be it. What we're going to do with these Unifix cubes, you can see we've got set up to where we got a three, we have a four, we have a five, we have a three, and we have another five. And we need to figure out what the average of all those are. And to do that, we're going to take and divide them up into five equal sections, which is really simple to do. All I have to do is take and let's see if I can grab it. Nope, that's going to write. Let me see if I can figure out how to just grab something. So I know I, I'm going to grab my touch of blue cube and maybe I'll turn that off. There you go. I turned that off. And now I'm going to hmm, hold on. All right, so I think I figured it out now. I've got it set to where I could click on this blue cube, and I'm going to move that blue cube over here, and I'm going to stack it on that red pile. But I also need to do the same thing to this green cube here, and I can bring it over here and stack it on the yellow file. And now you can see that each of my piles have the same height. And through that, we can come up with what the mean or the average of those values are. And that is going to end up being an average of four cups of flour for each of the students. Now let's jump back over to the worksheet that we were on. And you can see that's what they did here. They took and moved the pieces over until they had the same level of four high. Now we're going to do the same exact thing, only this time we're going to take and draw it out into these stacks here because so we need to be able to do this on our paper. Or if you want, you can do it using those online Unifix cubes that are in the link to your canvas. You can use those and copy and paste a screenshot if that makes you feel better. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to take and put in my different stacks. If you remember a while back, we had some of those color squares that we used for another activity. Those are what I'm using for my stacks today. So I've got it set up and let me show you what numbers we're using. The numbers were listed up. Oh, I used the wrong dang numbers. All right, hold on. Let me get my numbers right. All right, now I have the right numbers going here where I've got a stack of three, a stack of five, a stack of seven, and another stack of five. And then we're going to take and work those by grouping them up. And then we're going to distribute them evenly. So I'm going to come over here to this next stack. And then I'm going to take and come up with some even piles. So I can take this one. I can move it here. I can do that one. I can move it there. And then what is the actual average going to be? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So the average or mean is going to end up being five on this data set. Now, that works okay for these numbers, but let's just take a real quick preview at some of the numbers you're going to have for your homework tonight. So we're going to take and go to the next page and look at these numbers they've got. Those numbers are going to be absolutely brutal. Do you really want to stack 828 little squares? 
I don't think so. So what we're going to do instead now is we're going to take and learn how to actually solve this using math. So I'm going to jump back to the previous page and then I'm going to make a new page for us. And on that new page, we're going to work those numbers. Now those numbers we had, let's verify what they were on this one. I'm thinking it was a 3, 5, 7, and 5. So we're going to take and find the mean of 3, 5, 7, and 5. And all we have to do is add them up and divide by the number of numbers. So our supporting work is going to look like this. 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. And how many numbers are there? There's 4. So we're going to divide that by 4. From there, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 plus 5 is going to give me 20. Divided by 4, also known as 5 for my final answer. You must include that kind of supporting work on every single one of your homework problems. Let's jump over here and look at this other one. You guys pause the video and work this one on your own. Oops, I guess we should have that there are four counters in each, excuse me, right there are five counters in each stack, so the mean's going to be five. Now, you guys are going to take and work problem number two on your own, stacking them up into the piles, and then finding the mean both ways. I want you to find the mean using the number cubes and I want you to find the mean using math. Go ahead and do that now. So how's that working out for you? Let's see what this is going to be for me. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to drag it down here. This one I can drop here. Oh, we're going to have to do some serious dropping. So we're going to take and drop that one down. Whoop, that's a whole link set. Let's see if we can unlink that set. Boom. I'm going to draw that one down. And then we're going to drop that one down. And now that we can see that we have got four counters in each stack, so the mean is going to equal to four. Of course, that is only part of it. We also have to show our supporting work. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to write five plus seven plus four plus three plus four plus one. And we're going to divide that by the number of numbers, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So all that's going to be divided by 6. Now I'm going to add those up. So I'm going to take and say, well, 7 and 3 is 10. And then that's going to give me 24. When I add those up, divided by 6. And then 24 divided by 6 is 4. Now isn't 4 the same number that we came up with when we found the mean? using the number cubes? It absolutely is. That's it for the main lesson part of the day. Let's discuss what you're going to have to do for your homework because this is pretty significant. They give you a box full of numbers and they give you six problems you have to work and then they're going to give you two additional things you have to answer. So what they're going to do is you're going to take and use the numbers in this data set that they give you. And once you have used a number, you can't use it again, okay? So for example, for the first problem, it says they want you to choose seven numbers with a goal of the greatest mean. So I'm going to pick the seven biggest numbers that I can see here. But once I pick them, they're gone from the pile. I can't pick them again. So I see an 867. So let's see if it, we can actually make all this work in here. 867. No, nope, there's not going to be enough room for that. So we're going to write this on this separate page. So you're going to have to write it on a separate page for your homework too because you're not having enough room. So whoop, that's not the right number. 867 plus, and the next largest number I see here I think is going to be 828. So I'm going to put down 800, whoop, did it again, 828 plus, we're going to take and mark that one out. I got 809, that's going to be my third number. Now I think I have them all. Hopefully I got the top eight numbers because if I didn't, that's going to give us some wrong answers. When I add up all of those numbers, I'm going to get a really big number of 5,628. And of course, I still have to divide that by 7. Let's do a little review on our long division here. Our first number is going to go in the house, 5,628 divided by 7. 7 goes into 5, 0 times. 7 goes into 56, mm, 8 times. 
which is 56, gives us nothing left over. Bring down that 2. 7 goes into 2, 0 times. Bring down that 8. 7 goes into 28. Uh-oh, looks like we're going to have a decimal answer here. That's all right. We got to know how to do them. So 7 is going to go into 28. That's going to end up being, actually, no, it's not. 4 times, 4 times 7 is 28. No decimal answer at all. So our average is going to be 804 for that data set. So we're going to jump back over here and we're going to put in 804 is going to be the average. And of course, we do need to write in the numbers that we included here. So it's 809 and the 988 and all those are the numbers that we did here. From there, you're going to pick six numbers to have the least mean. After that, you're going to be picking eight numbers to have a least mean, but it can't be any of the numbers you've already picked. And you're going to keep going all the way through, giving me good quality supporting work to show how you got them. If all you're doing is filling in this box and you are not submitting a page that also looks like this, I can't give you full credit for doing it. So you're going to calculate your means, your averages, using this approach, and you're going to be filling it in on this page here. That should be it for today. If you have any questions, get with me, and I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.